For much of the pandemic, and as shelter-in-place orders were in full effect to stop the spread of COVID-19, the city of San Jose put a pause on its homeless encampment management and abatement procedures. As a result, many encampments throughout the city grew significantly. The city recently released a status report on its encampment management strategy and its safe relocation policy. The report outlines the city's efforts in resuming its pre-pandemic encampment management and abatement procedures. Since the beginning of the year, city leaders have introduced a total total of 14 referrals related to encampment management. Currently, eight are complete and six are in progress. As the state began to reopen during the summer and ahead of schools resuming for in-person instruction, the city implemented a 150-foot buffer around schools to find where encampments cannot be located and increase encampment abatements. Between May and August, there were 18 abatements that were conducted within the school buffer zone. The report says, quote, staff work proactively with encampment residents to reduce the number of encampments within the school buffer zone, thereby reducing the number of abatements needed as the new school year began in August. The report also highlights trash services the city provides to encampments along waterways throughout San Jose. Currently, the city is providing consistent trash pickup service along Interstate 280 to Story Road, Tully Road to Capitol Expressway, Interstate 880 to Hazlitt Way, and 50 other smaller sites. The city's Beautify SJ and its partners are continuing to pick up trash from approximately 220 20 active encampments every two weeks. A total of more than 1,600 tons of debris made up of trash, bio waste, and household hazardous waste has been picked up from streets, sidewalks, and creeks throughout the city. All this as cleanup efforts are still in the works to clear one of the largest homeless encampments in the city that sits on federal land near the SJC airport. That process is set to be completed by mid-2022. Reporting in San Jose for Cron 4 News, Omar Perez.